So over the years, one of my favorite things about having you on the show, you have had many odd jobs, and yet every time you're here, I discover a new one about you. You worked at a carnival. Yes, as a matter of fact, so did the guy in that clip, Smokey Putney, yeah. the guy with the elephants. So that's he why he worked at a carnival, but he, anyway, he uh, <laughs> he worked for the circus. But we go to the carnival to try and find him. Did that bring back memories for you? Uh, it, it did. I worked at a carnival for a very short time uh, when I was quite young. Uh, I uh, I ran the whack the cats. Uh -huh. um, is that like whack-a-mole, is that? Uh, no, nothing like it at all. Okay. I mean, you've seen it. They're, the cats are like lion faces. Okay. And they're fabric that's about this big. And then behind the fabric is a little board that's about this wide. Uh-huh. So soft on the sides like that, okay? Got it. And then you're given baseballs, and you throw them to try and knock the cat faces down. Whack the cats. And... <laughs> But of course, you miss so much because it's actually a very thin board behind the larger face. Oh, I see. It tricks you into throwing at the oh. soft part. Yeah, I mean, you can't... Yeah, you have to hit the middle of it. Anyway, I did the Whack the Cats at this carnival. I even roped a friend of mine into working at the carnival as well. He worked the fishing well. Uh-huh. Uh, and it's not called a fishing well. What is it? A wishing well, maybe, or uh -huh. something? Anyway, but you fish for things. But anyway... Uh, <laughs> it was... A, an abysmal carnival. I mean, really? it was so bleak. But also, I worked the day shift, and so I think probably the night is the better shift to work there, maybe? For carnivals? Sure, yeah. I mean, I guess. It's not like you get tips, though. Right. But it's just busier, so you pass the time. Yeah. Like, I did teach myself how to juggle, which I no longer know how to do. It would be great if I said that I did that, and then I could come out here and juggle for you all. But I can't... <laughs> but I can't even bring that to the table. <laughs> okay, got uh, it. All I have is the bathroom story. <laughs> anyway, and the clip. Yeah, you brought uh, the clip. Thank I brought you. the clip. Someone else sent the clip. Okay, gosh, you didn't even do that. I didn't even do that. Did really... you? Um, when did you know your time at the carnival was done? Did you? Did you ever say well, this <laughs> yes, isn't this isn't yes. life for me? <laughs> no, yes. I used to drive up there with my buddy in my little VW Bug that had no floor, and um, we would go there and we'd anyway. I would be standing there, and I'd be there for, you know, there'd be a half hour in between people coming to the Whack the Cats. <laughs> yeah. It was not did a very you, popular you, And then thing. you just got close to the cats, I'm imagining. And the, prize, yeah. the prizes stunk, sort of. Yeah. Anyway, but I was standing there one day, and all of a sudden I see the guy who ran the ride that was next to me. And the ride was one of those, I don't know, like tilt-a-whirl or yeah. cups or, I don't know, something spinning. And it was next to me there, and I used to actually pick him up hitchhiking to come to the park. So this place carnival. obviously paid real well. I'm, it was so, <laughs> yeah. it was so bleak. Anyway, one day I was staying there, and I, so I had gotten to know the guy, you know, pick him up, hitchhiking. And all of a sudden he's walking by, this is after I've only been working there a few weeks, and he's walking by and he's just got this sort of demoralized, look, he's sort of hanging his head and wandering up towards the, you know, at a, the office, which was a shed. Uh, <laughs> and headed that way. And I said, everything all right? He said, kid fell off the ride. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't know if, I don't even know if they heard that. I said it too quietly. But anyway. <laughs> the kid fell yeah. off the ride. Kid so, fell off the ride. And, and anyway, and it just, he said it. The way he said it, I just thought, I got to get the hell out of here. Yeah. I mean, it was, he, the way he said it was just like, again. Yeah. <laughs> Not shock. <laughs> no, no, no. Was just like, it's been worn down. No, it was about the paperwork or the yeah. report or whatever the thing, you know, yeah. or, <laughs> that he was going to have to fill out. Or... Yeah, to mark who fell off the ride, kid. Uh... It was a really brutal job. I didn't last very long, only, if, you know, like a couple of months or less, like a month or one month and a half. You know, but I had so many, you know, odd jobs and manual labor jobs and ones that were really hard, like, you know, Loading and unloading freight cars and tractor trailer trucks. I work at a meatpacking plant, unloading sides of beef, and you know, just all. Uh, all well, these if jobs. you had to choose. But that job was so calcifyingly boring. It was like retail. I, wow. Retail. But it's so funny because I feel like people write books about working at a carnival. No one writes their, their working at the meat place, but you're saying the meat job. Uh, was better. Well, I was busy. Yeah. I was working at a carnival that people weren't coming to. Yeah, that and, does. And it was, and I was also during the day, and, and no one's there. And doesn't a carnival live at night? I mean, yeah. it was like, 
It's actually like my job, television. I, you know, I got into this business because it was a night job. Yeah. And then it turned out that it wasn't. <laughs> yeah. And that was a rude See, awakening. you got ripped off. No, pun intended. You, one of these days, you're going to find a job you like, and I really hope that. No, no, no. I do. I love my job. <laughs> but I was counting on the later hour. Yeah. You, uh, I'm not a morning person. Yeah. And uh, this wouldn't be bad. But you show up in the morning, don't you? Yeah, I do show up in the morning. Yeah. Count me out. Okay. Oh, <laughs> well, please come back again, though.